Hello, everyone, and welcome to Podcast Nine and Three Quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half Blood Princess. Today, I'm going to discuss how Snape's death scene was changed in the movies from the books. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I think the Harry Potter movie adaptations were great. I think that they stayed as true to the books as possible, and the little changes that they had here and there didn't really bother me all that much. I know it seems like a minor change, but the setting of Severus Snape's death in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 was changed from the final Harry Potter book. Of course, you can't put every detail from a book into a movie, but little things like this can take some truly special moments and details out. In the book, the Shrieking Shack was used by Lord Voldemort and his Death Eaters as a hideout. There, Voldemort ordered Nagini to kill Snape. While Harry, Hermione, and Ron watched from their hiding spot under the invisibility cloak. In the movie, Snape was killed by Voldemort and Nagini at the boathouse in an underground harbor at Hogwarts. Though in the movie, it was more of an exterior building. According to the art director of the Harry Potter series, the setting was changed to give the scene a more dramatic atmosphere and take it out of an interior that was already known by us viewers. It's a little disappointing that Snape's death didn't take place at the Shrieking Shack because it took away some interesting foreshadowing, especially for those of us who absolutely love Harry Potter. Snape didn't have the best of luck when it came to the shack. In 1975, he was told by Sirius Black that if he went under the Whomping Willow, he would find out what was wrong with Remus, who was in his werewolf form at the time, and could have killed Snape. Then again, in 1994, he was knocked unconscious when finding out Sirius was hiding there. It's a sad third time's a charm situation that added more to Snape's story, and it would have been interesting to see it play out in the movie as it was in the book. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.